All right, and so, but then we are here on the first level called Just Dig, so obviously you know how we're gonna make our way out of here. And our lemmings are in a nice little enclosed space, so while they're walking around safe with no chance of dying whatsoever, I'm gonna take the time to explain a few things while we're digging on this variation of Packle Bell's Cannon. It's not the actual song, I don't think, just has snatches of it, really. But uh, we're gonna take the time to explain some of these functions down here, not all of them, we will get to the individual tasks as they come up in certain levels. We'll uh, get acclimated to one or two new tasks per level, and that kind of counts as the game's tutorial. It makes it easy to get used to, and uh, we'll learn as we go. But for now, there are a couple things down here that we should explain right off the bat. This little minus and plus right here is the release rate, which controls how fast lemmings come out of this little hatch right here. Everybody has already fallen out, so the speed isn't affected now, but... When you push the plus sign, it will go up by a random amount, anywhere between 1 and 5. So, if you want a, like, specific release rate, you kind of got to finagle with it sometimes. But it will go up if you push the plus button, and down if you push the minus button. And it will not go below what the release rate for the level is set at. Like, it's set at 50, so that's the minimum speed that they can come out with. And it can be anywhere from 1, which is, like, 1 limbing every couple of seconds, to 99, where they just pour out of the game. And so you can also you, you can use the buttons down here, or you can use the F1 and F2 keys. You can use the F keys as hot keys, and which makes this game way easier, and which makes this pretty much, I would say, the definitive version of Lemmings. Because you will need to use those hot keys in later levels. You will need to be quick about choosing tasks. You'll need to do things on the fly, and it's just going to be difficult. This down here is the pause button. Pause get it ha ha pause pause it's a pun and so you can push that button to pause the action on the screen get a look around the level formulate your strategy and stuff and then when you're ready to start up again you can push it or you can push the f11 key it basically goes in numerical order throughout the bottom row like minus release rate is f1 plus release rate is f2 f3 f4 f5 and so on and so forth so that's something you need to get used to and i'll explain what every hotkey goes straight to as we go along, but for now, F11 does the pause key, and F12 does Armageddon, the nuke where everybody blows up all at once. If you're absolutely stuck on a level, and you want a fun little pyrotechnic way of weaseling your way out of a level that you've already epically failed at, and you can push F12 or double-click the button for that, but for now we're going to do F10 to get to diggers, and this is why the hotkeys are useful, because you can change tasks while the game is paused with the hotkeys. You can't click a task while the game is paused, but you can use the hotkeys, which makes it ultra useful. So we're gonna do F10 to get to Diggers, and we're going to make one lemming dig their way out. And Diggers go straight down through the ground they're digging through. They can dig through any surface except liquid or steel. Steel is going to figure in a lot later, and it's going to get in our way a lot, particularly in the later levels. But I'm feeling very generous today, so I'm going to let these guys who walked off the wrong way, I'm going to let them get to the exit before we end this level. And once we get to the next level, I'll start explaining the tasks for that level and so on and so forth. So now you know most of the basic stuff. While we sat here on Just Dig, I got to explain most of the basic things. And anything I missed, we will get to very soon. I, tr I promise. Alright, they say that only floaters can survive this one, but I see a few ways in which other types of lemmings might be able to survive it, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We're just going to use floaters for now by pressing the F4 key, and when you make a lemming a floater, he remains a floater for the rest of the level. And you just click on a lemming and make him a floater, and now when he gets to a large drop, such as this one, he will bust out a little umbrella. Lemmings will splat and die if they fall too far in this game. So you just make the lemmings floaters, they pop out their little umbrellas and they can make large drops safely and with ease. I didn't have to save all of them, technically I really only had to save one, but as I said I'm feeling quite generous today, I'm in a, I'm in a happy mood, things are going well for me right now. But that's how floaters work, a pretty simple level to show that off for you. Tailor made for blockers. We're going to show off how this one works then. You press F6 to get to your blockers. 
Blockers will turn Lemmings around, and once a Lemming is a blocker, he can't really do anything else. The only way to get rid of blockers is to bomb them, or in certain cases, you can remove the ground underneath them to make them walk again. That's a little trickier, but uh, we may do that on occasion. We'll see. But for now, we're just going to have our blockers stand where they go. And you can use up to five blockers to get them down to the exit, but I'm going to use the minimum of three just to be a show-off in a fancy pants. And as you can see, I'm now going to show you how the raising of the release rate works, since there are 50 lemmings in this level. You hold down the F2 key and you raise it to 99 and they just come pouring out really fast. But we have enough of a buffer ahead of us so that that won't become a problem. We just wait for them to fall off here. And we make this guy a blocker, and you can see how they turn around when they hit up on a blocker. And this will enable them to get to the exit at the bottom of the level. And that's how blockers work. These levels are really short, they move by very quickly, but they also teach you how the game works. And they're very well done in that way. I don't guess you would have to play these levels if you were accustomed to the game. You could just get right into the hard stuff. But part of the fun is just going through and seeing all these wonderful levels again. And now we get to do the nuke thing. So I'm going to push F12 and blow up all the blockers at once since we ain't got no bombers. Five, there's a countdown on their heads, it counts down from five, and when it gets to one, they cower and they blow up. It's pretty and it's cute. Okay, here we've got a twofer. We get to use miners and climbers. We only have one miner. You get to your miners with F9, miners burrow diagonally. And they are also, they are also bleh, the slowest type of digging lemming. They take their pickaxe out and they chip through the ground and you see how slowly they move. It's much slower than a, uh, than a bat digger or a basher, which we'll see in the next level. But once you uh, mine through this little ledge right here, press F3 to get to your climbers. And climbers work in much the same way as floaters. When you make a lemming a climber, he is a climber for the rest of the level or until he dies, whichever one comes first. You just make a lemming a climber, he will climb any surface he comes up on. Which in this case is going to help us get to the exit. Oh, whoops, missed one. <laughs> but yeah, um, we can't build up there or anything. That would be somewhat impractical, so we got to make him climb up the wall to get to the exit. And I do believe we have to save all of them in this one, so no nuking or anything. We kind of have to watch this little guy walk on to the exit, so... I have wasted a little bit of our time here, so I'm just going to spend the rest of the level singing. Uh, and here's one of those, uh, I'm not going to sing, I'm just going to say, here's one of those public domain tunes I was talking about, She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. We'll hear more of those soon, but we've mostly been hearing original tunes so far, funnily enough. Now we're going to use bashers. They go horizontally through walls, and this is the last type of digger we get to learn about. They will punch through walls with their mighty fists, such as this one right here. You don't want to punch through that crystal over to the left because then they'll all die, of course. You press F8 to get to your bashers. And we're here in the Itsy Bitsy Spider. So there we go. There's more of the public domain. It's starting to... The pendulum is starting to swing to the other side. We'll hear a lot of tunes we recognize as we go throughout the game. Now this fence is kind of difficult to bash through if you just do it like up here or something, but if you do it at the base of the fence, they'll punch straight through. Like this guy right here, see he's not going to make it all the way through, but you go at the bottom and they'll just keep going. Or you can just kind of do this to get them to go through anyway. You have 50 bashers, it's not like you're going to run out anytime soon. See we can just kind of punch our way through the fence in case anybody else goes up. And there they go, we got to save only 10%, so I guess we could get this level out of the way in a hurry. How many are out? Let's go ahead and raise the release rate up. And you can scroll the screen, I haven't mentioned this yet, you can scroll the screen by bumping up against the sides of it. You can do a slow scroll just by touching the side of the screen, or you can speed up the scroll by holding the right mouse button. This is much more useful, this is probably what I'll do most of the time. It's not exactly like you need precision to get to a certain swath of the screen. I mean, it's like a huge field of play right there. So there they go. Let's go ahead and just save our 100% and yay! Yay me! I'm so nice! I'm the living savior! Look at me! Woo!
This is a task for blockers and bombers. Now we know what blockers do already, obviously. Now we're gonna figure out how to get rid of them. And this is the can-can. F6 for blocker, F5 for bombers. And once you have your cursor over the blocker here, you just click, and the countdown starts. This is a good way to blow up one particular spot. And now we just do it again for this thin little wall over here. And this is our first look at the hell background, which I've always found uh, slightly harrowing. I bet one of the guys gets stuck when I try to do it, so I like to do it right up on the wall. Nope, nobody got stuck. They all turned around. You can uh, you can kind of glitch things out like that sometimes. Lemmings will get stuck in a surface, and it's funny and cute and everything. So let's go ahead and raise up the release rate. we got to save at least 50% of these guys if memory serves. And that fire blower right there is a trap, but it's not like we can reach it. It's just there for there for aesthetic value, really. Just to kind of, I guess, raise the property value of hell? Sure, okay. We'll go with that. But let's watch the line of limbings walk the exit. Now we only got one more tutorial level where we're going to learn how to use builders. It's sort of a long one, but again, like all these early fun levels, not really. Builders will help you here. Well, builders are going to have to help us here because builders are all we've got. Now with a builder, you press F7 to access your builders. And when you make a limbing a builder, he's going to build a diagonal bridge. I think we want to start from about right here. If, no, that's a little too far out. I'll have to do two bridges. But when a limbing is building, he will build a bridge made out of 12 tiles. Yeah, I built too far out. But you count your tiles. One two, three, and when he gets to his last three, he'll start making a clicking sound, indicating to you that he's about to run out. I think that's coming up again here. See, if you heard that minor clicking sound, that means he's about to run out. So sometimes you'll have to build very long bridges made of uh, consecutive rows of, you know, individual bridges. So what you'll have to do then is you'll have to listen for the clicking sound and you'll have to replenish his building ability as soon as he starts to run out. And you won't have to do that here, really. I tried not to get anyone caught in the pit so that I can uh, finish off saving 100% here. But, um, but yeah, we, this is pretty simple right here. Just one or two bridges to get up the way. And then uh, later, I'll show you how we have to use consecutive builders to make really long bridges to get to really far away places that are across giant pits. That's something you have to do a lot of in this game. I would argue that builders are probably the thing you use the most in this game. Just just cause. I mean, there's a lot of pits and everything, and Lemmings can't jump or anything, so you have to build your way over pits. But that's it for the tutorial level, so I think we're going to stop here for today and put a nice little bow on it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for the real levels.